Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm joined this morning by Kelsey Holman. She's a kitchen educator with Edible Schoolyard Kern County, a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation. Kelsey, good morning. Good morning. This looks like a delicious dish you have planned for us here. What are we making? We have quite the spread this morning. We are making an orzo salad. So we're using this orzo, which is rice-shaped pasta this morning, and we're tossing it with some veggies and garbanzo beans, and then yeah. we're going to top it with the dressing that we made last week. Oh, perfect. <coughs> and I love the texture of, like, the little rice pasta in a salad or, like, a grain of some sort. Mm -hmm. it's, it just really ups the ante. It's good it stuff. does. And you can use rice instead. You can use... Uh, quinoa instead. Mm -hmm. You can kind of just use whatever you have on hand. Oh, farro is one of my favorites. Oh, absolutely. So good. I'm going to add all of that. Okay. Because it's a little full. Cup, couple of cups, it looks like. Absolutely. Okay. And then I'll dump in Wonderful. some greens. And would you mind giving that a yep. stir? What kind of me? greens are we using today? So today we are using some kale, some dino Yum. kale, mm. as well as some rainbow chard. People are so. Um, Skeptical, I would say, of using like chard and kale in salads. What's the trick? What's the key to, to using it and making it delicious? Well, I think just adding a few ingredients like we have with our dill, and we're going to add okay. some mint as well, as well as the vinaigrette will kind of bring all those flavors together. And you won't really notice with the pasta, you won't really notice all the, you know, the green taste and uh -huh. texture in there if that's not something that you prefer. I think one of the keys also, you remove the ribs, I noticed. Absolutely. Make sure those aren't in there and you shred them really finely. Yes. Or slice it really finely. So small pieces, that's one thing way you can include kids is to kind of have them tear those greens into tiny pieces. Oh, I love that. Good um, idea. So I added some radishes Yum. and I'm going to toss in some dill there. Ooh, that smells so yummy. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. And then mint. Oh, that's different. I like it's that. It's fresh uh -huh. and delicious. Okay. And then I'm going to toss in a few green onions. Mm. Smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, all these so fragrant herbs in here. And then I'll have you add our chickpeas or nice. garbanzo beans. Mm. All of them? All of them. All Let's right. toss all of there those go. in yeah. there. Add a oh. bit of protein. Yum. And then I'll go ahead and toss okay. those while you give our vinaigrette a shake. Which one is this? This is the lemon vinaigrette. So yeah. it has lemon, Dijon, salt, and pepper. Very, very simple. Olive oil? Olive oil. Okay. That's the last ingredient. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we got our olive oil over here. Can't of course, that. we can't forget that. That's beautiful. All right, go ahead and toss that over the top. How long do these uh, vinaigrettes last in the fridge? They'll last, this one would last about five days, I would say. Okay. And Make it up for the week. And uh, the longer they sit in the fridge, you know, more flavors kind mm -hmm. of meld together. That and is the beautiful. And they'll be even tastier. And Look we're going to top it with a little bit <gasps> of fresh feta. Oh, my feta. favorite. I love feta So salad. tasty. Mm, this looks so All good. I'm right. kind of hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> good thing. Came with an appetite. All right, beautiful. So this is our beautiful. orzo pasta salad. Um, we're going to share this recipe on our website, kget.com, of course. Thank you very much, Kelsey. You're welcome. I'm going to give it a try. We've got the mint, the dill, put a little bit of the chickpea in there. Mm, so good and fresh. Yes. And that lemony vinaigrette. Mm. I love it. All right, Brighten don't forget to check our uh, website, like I said, for all of these recipes and more. Kelsey, thanks so much. We appreciate you as always. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.